So, where do you think it's gone wrong with your love life? Don't know, really. I think it's the fact that I'm working class. I think these days women like a man with money, a man in a suit, a gentleman. See either that or the lesbians. How did it go? They won't give me my money. Claim I haven't been applying for jobs. How the would they know? Do they follow me around? That's f stalking that. I'm gonna f all the police. They can't follow me and tell me if I've been applying for jobs or not. I have been applying. Well, actually, no, I haven't been applying. How the f they know? Fake, hey, that's what it is. Ah, fucking hell. It's that bike, I tell you. Stole its wheels. They think a lock can stop me, steal the seats, steal the wheels, sell it on. Brilliant. So what do you think about Gary's lifestyle? Well, I wouldn't want to condone it to anyone, but he's my friend. I have to sort of try and support him through it as much as I can, you know. He, he doesn't want to do anything and I think it's this one major thing about being always being rejected by the people that he's always liked. Um, that's just made him think, well, he's not worth anything. So he's, you know, he's on the dole, you know. He, he's not bothered about finding a job. He's not bothered about this. He's not bothered about that. He's not bothered where his life's going to go anymore. Um, and I personally find it upsetting because he was such a nice person. And I mean, my parents love him. We've gone together, my parents love him, but they've commented on the way he is now and what's happened to him when we've grown up and even they sort of, they don't like me sort of speaking to him anymore and stuff like that, purely for the way that he is. Um, I, I, I can't stop talking to him for that because at the end of the day, people go their own way, they're going to do what they want. I'm a big believer in that, but it is upsetting um, and I find it kind of disrespectful to me because we've We've grown up together, like I said, you know, we've grown up together and I've gone off doing one thing, he's doing this, and it feels as though he's kind of now dragging people down around him to be in that same sort of position as him. And it's just, it's uncool, to be fair. It's, it's uncool, it's depressing, um, but I don't know what I can do to help him get out of it, to be fair. I, I really don't. So, yeah, welcome to my house. Good evening. Right, so I'll take you through to the living room where I spend most of my day watching the footy, you know. This is it. I've got the kitchen through there, but I'll leave that to the parents because they do all the, you know, all the yeah, cooking. Yeah, Mum, fuck off. It's my TV programme. You're always doing this to me, Mum. It's so embarrassing. I am sorry about that. I hope you don't ruin your programming, but Mum just tends to piss me off. Right, this is the bedroom. I got my guitars, I like to pretend I play because I know girls are interested in that. I've got all my shitty toys and this bad boy. <sighs> the Chamber of Love. I haven't been used in so far, but I'm working on it, you know. Trying to get some girls back. Hello, Gary, my lad. He's alright, he's a lovely lad, but he um, doesn't help around the house. He doesn't tidy up or anything. He's always asking for money. But I'll do anything for him because he's my son. He's just getting beyond the job now, because he's lazy, he doesn't go any he don't bring girls on. Just comes around, slobs about the bedroom, plays his games, comes down, is he out to eat, is he out to eat, stuffs his face and goes back upstairs again. And that's the last we see of him till he's hungry again. Gary, you're late. What are you doing? Fuck off, I'm busy! Right, so I'm just off to see the life coach. He's going to give me a few tips on where to change my life in order to get some girls, but I don't see much he can change. I think I'm pretty much the perfect package when it comes to romancing some women. So, yeah. Throughout my career as a counsellor for young adolescents, I've encountered many individuals who all seemingly want a better life, yet do nothing to help themselves. 
Gary, on the other hand, is pushing himself completely in the wrong direction. The things I've said to him are quite simple and straightforward. He needs to grow more confident in himself and with the people that he knows and he's around a lot. Um, on a similar note, it could be beneficial if he uses a new confidence, which I might add he can only achieve himself, to broaden his horizons and to meet new people. This would be the first step to him finding someone to love who will love him in return. Right, so the life coach told me that I really need to change the way I dress. So I went out, got myself a fresh load of clothing, but it's not my style, it's no Fred Pez, but it's just a lot of shirts. He wanted me to dress more smart. So I thought shirts are pretty smart, I guess. Went further on, got myself some shoes. Really wanted to buy some Adidas, but instead I had to get myself some Chelsea boots. I hear they're kind of, you know, in fashion these days, but... I don't know, they look a bit poncy to me. And that's about it, really. I just come for the... What they call a smart casual, but... Pff, too smart for me. So yeah, just saw a nice looking girl, I thought, way to test out my confidence, ask for a number. She gave me it, so looking to plan a date with her. Things are looking up, the coach, obviously, confidence is key in this game, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So how you feeling about the date? Pretty confident, you know. Things look like they might go well. I think if you look good, if you feel good, it'll work well. So, date didn't turn up, <laughs> left me sat in there like a dick, but, you know, I'm, I'm not going to let it set me back. I scored a date, I could never do that before, so things are definitely looking up. Plenty more fish in the sea, as they always say, so, I think I'm on the right track. So how's your life changed since seeing the life coach? He's it, really changed my outlook on life, you know, he told me, one thing you need to do is think of something that makes you happy and go out and do that. And for me, that is looking for love. And he has shown me that finding love, it's not about being arrogant, it's not trying to be cool, it is honestly just being yourself. And though I thought myself was Sports Direct shopping, nice Adidas, it's not at all. And now I've changed how I am, I feel so much com more comfortable with who I am. All the time, all the time. Beautiful life, and where have you gone? And you have taken everything. Out.